the carbon tax. I said it would be a massive political win for him with all of the, the premiers almost uh, uniform across the board coming out saying don't increase at April 1st. And I don't know that we had much success, but you can see Doug Ford is weighing in. Even Wam Canu, when he was asked, why haven't you weighed in on this? His answer was, who says we haven't? Mm. So if you've got NDP, liberal, conservative, all across the board saying don't increase this April 1st, that gives him a lot of cover to do the right thing. So those are the things that we talked about. Yeah. Is it true that you asked him to fire Stephen Gilbo? Yes. I mean, I've been asking for it publicly. And so I I thought I should tell him that it would really reset our relationship if we could have a different person in that role. They're chums, though. They go way back. What did he say to you? No. <laughs> well, he laughed. I think he knew that I that uh, that I think he knows that minister is creating problems for him. And, you know, to his credit, he's going to to d defend one of his ministers. But like, it's not just me. I mean, when you've got Doug Ford and David Eby, both outraged that he would give a, a speech saying that we're not going to build big highway projects anymore. And that's one of the main jobs of the federal government. Then I would say that uh, that that he's taking, I said, look, he's causing you more damage than he's causing me. Yeah. And if you want to reset with all of the provinces on some reasonable policy that will get us to a 2050 emissions reduction target, I think you have to remove him. Um, obviously, I didn't have the impact that, I, that I'd hoped on that one, on, uh, but I needed to raise it with him. Sure, yeah, on, on February 21st, when we talked to the prime minister, he asked him about the no new roads thing, and he s clarified, said it was a comment about Quebec. People can check out his full comments in our archives.